mailing list if you have any of these conditions and on the playback you'll be able to pause that and have a double check uh, then I'm afraid that you cannot come and play uh, and if you are pregnant then you just need to watch out today's work will be awesome for you if you are pregnant um, do not worry about any of those but I just need to bear in mind however uh, all self care is fantastic for any of these and any of these so in the future as we do more self-care lives uh, if you have any of these or any of those then come and play because there's loads that can be gained from a little bit of self-care right so as i mentioned we're going to be working on your armpit now there's a reason why we're going to work on your armpit your armpit is basically a muscle called your subscapularis it attaches onto the front of your scapula and to the back of your ribs what makes it such an important muscle is that it supports your arms away from your body. So if you're driving, if you're texting, if you're using a computer keyboard, anything where horse riding, riding a bike, riding a motorbike, anything where your arms are going to be supported away from your body, holding a baby. Yeah, so your subscapularis has to work really, really hard. Uh, and that causes tightness and that causes restriction. And the thing about your armpit, the thing about your subscapularis is it's so sneaky. If ever you have kind of like weird achy pain on the back of your wrist, that's coming from your armpit. Uh, what else does it do? Uh, it restricts your range of movement, so raising your arm this way, or bringing your arm back this way, and bringing your arm across this way, that can be a tight armpit causing any of those uh, to be a little bit funny. If you've got a clicking, popping shoulder, that's probably a combination of tightness in your armpit through the subscapularis, and this wee little muscle up here, which is part of your rotator cuff, rotator cuff, called your supraspinatus. Uh, if you've been told that you have arthritis or bursitis or a frozen shoulder, any of those things, you want to be looking in your armpit. Cool. So without further ado, we're going to get started. Now, um, we might do it a little bit shorter, but I'm going to talk you through uh, the method. Uh, and this is um, a myofascial release, so we're going to be stealthy. Uh, so all pressure is going to be very gentle. All holds are going to be held for a minimum of five minutes. Um, and then we're going to do this side, and then we're going to do this side. So find yourself a nice comfy seat. You can do this at work in the office. Please feel free to join in. Uh, the arm that you're going to work on, hello, is the one that's going to drop between your legs. Unless you're very chesty, if you're a very busty lady, you might want to drop it here. And if you find that your shoulder is incredibly tight and that bringing your arm across here makes you really sore, feel free to drop it down this side of your body. We're going to support the arm that you're using to work with. So the arm that's going to work is going to be elbow on your knee and then you're going to run your fingers around the side of your ribs. So can you see that I'm kind of poking into that armpit? I'm not going behind it, I'm poking into it. So, support this arm so you're going to be nice and comfy because you may be here a while. If you feel like you need a cushion on your knees just to soften the, uh, soften the feeling of your pointy elbow in, into your thigh, then please do so. Although probably actually just doing it this way means you get a double release because you get to work on your thigh. It's a two for one. Marvellous. Uh, so, running your fingers around the edge of your ribs and back into your armpit and then this arm is just going to flow, glide, soften. So we're not pushing, we're not pointing, we're not jabbing, we're not trying to rattle away in there, we are not mining for gold, we are merely holding our fingertips into our armpit. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, so this is it. So we're going to be here for a while, <laughs> which is nice. So I suppose I will explain some other stuff. Um, hmm. Tell you what, let's start with a positive focus. Uh, so tell me in the comments below something good that's happened today or something that you are enjoying about your day. So for me, uh, yeah, well, I'm having a lovely day at work. I'm halfway through my day at work. Uh, this is a nice way to spend my lunch hour. Uh, I had some really tasty hummus as well for lunch, so ta-da! There's an, an extra bonus of a good day. Um, what I'm finding as my fingers start to soften into my tissue is that uh, I can, I'm really quite aware of the tightness in my ribs. I'm quite aware of the tightness in my back. So if you find that, um, that your back is feeling quite tired just by allowing your arm to dangle, then feel free just to nudge the elbow against your knee just so that it can uh, have a little bit of support and takes the pressure off your back. <sighs> See, now we know that we're in a good place because the breathing is softening and what you'll find is that as the tissue starts to soften and the brain starts to realise that the, uh, the pressure isn't going away or that actually it can't tell whether it's an internal pressure or an external pressure is that your breathing will deepen. You may find yourself taking a couple of nice deep relaxing breaths. So uh, as I was saying the subscapularis it attaches onto the back of the scapular plate and onto the front of the ribs. Uh, it rotates your arm inwards, it raises your arm above your head, it keeps your humerus so um, the long upper arm bone keeps your humerus located in the socket. It is your armpit and uh, it supports the arm when you open your body as we were saying so. It's a really, really important thing and it's amazing how often uh, achy forearm stuff is all connected into your armpit. For uh, ladies who hold babies or toddlers or bigger children, um, this is a really, really good one for you to, for you to do as far as self-care goes. It's a, it's an important one and it's one that actually it cranks up over years and years and years of use without you really noticing. And then when it comes to, um, to the, the symptoms kicking in, you kind of think, well, where's that coming from? Why have I got limited movement in my shoulder? And why can't I do my bra strap anymore? Which incidentally is also um, related into, into a muscle called the infraspinatus. And we will cover that another day or another lunchtime. Uh, yeah, so this one feels like it's doing quite well. As it starts to soften again, my breath keeps deepening, but also I can feel my fingers sliding in and back. <sighs> so, generally I would say we want to be here for a minimum of five minutes. And today we're going to swap on over. As I said, I've got clients in this afternoon. I don't want to... <laughs> I think they might be a bit surprised if they came in and I was talking to Facebook. So... We're going to swap over. Okay, so this hand becomes your working hand. This armpit is going to be your worked on armpit. So dropping your arm between your knees. In fact, if you start with your elbow on your knees till you work your fingers back around your ribs and into the armpit. And once you've found your armpit, you can drop this arm. Now you can drop it all the way down so it's dangling or you can just rest it against the side of your leg. Uh, it's kind of important whilst you're doing this sort of self-care to keep your feet flat on the ground. It's nice to be grounded and central whilst you're doing this kind of work. Uh, this is quite an interesting side. What you might also find is that as you um, as you feel into the, the tissues, you might be aware of where your ribs twist. Uh, I've definitely got one rib which is a bit, bit tweaky. It feels kind of lumpy. Now, any lumps and bumps in your armpits that you're really not sure about uh, get checked. Um, I can tell from the position of this, it's a bit lower down, so it's definitely a rib. And I would say that that's probably because I've got some tightness going on up through here in my pec. We'll do pecs another day too. So there we are. We're just working away. 
finger sliding back into the tissue of the armpit, it can feel really sore, it can feel very tender. And if you find that it's very tender and absolutely uncomfortable, then please back away with the pressure. Um, if you think about a scale of 1 to 10, that 10 is absolutely on the ceiling and 1 is that you're not even there at all, and you don't really want to entertain any discomfort greater than a 7. But keep it, you know, if it's, it's, if it's uncomfortable, keep it around a 5 or a 6. We don't need to go any higher than that. <sighs> so, breath deepening. And just walking away. Finally looks like it stopped raining today. A little bit brighter in the sky. I quite like this kind of weather. The fact that it's incredibly rainy but still very warm means that the garden is just going to go boom. And it will be a mass of greenery in the next couple of days. So that will be lovely. Once again, breath deepening. You can tell that we're getting deeper into the tissues. If you have any comments, or any questions about any of this kind of myofascial release work, then please do give me a, uh, drop a comment in the box below uh, and I will happily answer any questions. Also, if there is anything uh, you'd like to know more about, whether it's kind of jaw ache, a shoulder ache, uh, stuff going on with knees, with ankles, um, low back pain, any questions that you have about anything that you think you could do with a little bit of guidance on, just drop those uh, queries in the box below as well and um, I will cover all questions in future, future Facebook Lives. So once again, it's good to stay here for uh, five to eight minutes. Sometimes you get this real feeling that you're going into deep tissue and you just need to sit and hold and sit and hold and sit and hold. Uh, the other good thing about fascia work like this is that it's just you doing the work. You are not needed by any expensive equipment. Um, I mean, I'm going to show you some stuff over the next few weeks where we're going to use a tennis ball or a therapy ball. Sometimes you can use a foam roller, but if you haven't got a foam roller, you can use something like a, a yoga mat rolled up or um, a large towel rolled up. I'm going to try and keep all of this self-care as simple as I possibly can, make it really accessible for you. Uh, because really, there's so much we can do for ourselves. And it is as simple as taking 10 to 20 minutes here and there and just applying these wee little bits of knowledge. And this knowledge is so easily gained. And in fact, some of it is so fascinating about how the body connects up and how one place, one tweaky place in the fascial web will then go and cause numerous knock-on effects through the body. But from there, we're just gonna be working on the armpit. Uh, also, if you find that you have a tingling or odd sensation in your fingers, uh, just reposition your fingers slightly in your armpit. There's a couple of nerves which run through there and we don't really want to be pressing onto those. So be aware that if you have a tingling down the arms or into your fingers, that it might just be that there is somewhere that you just need to shift away from a wee bit. So there we are. That's the subscapularis release. As I said, you're going to hold that there for five, eight, ten minutes, depending on how you feel. Now, the great thing with fascia work is even though you're going to use it for kind of five to ten minutes at a time, you're going to keep chipping away at it. So where you have specific areas of tension or restriction or a lack of range of movement, I'm going to show you different methods that you can get into that. And you'll be able to build yourself together um, really simple little sequences which uh, you can use as and when you want. They're really going to be really short sequences. You can use one piece of them, you can use four pieces of the, the sequence, depending on how much time that you have. So that's it for today. That's how to work into your armpit. If you have any questions, please drop them below, and I will see you on the next one. Take care now. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.